So we are going to make connections for the first experiment, which is the blinking of an LED. So we are going to use uh, port 1.0 to connect our LED. So we can see the port number is written here, 1.0, pin number. So I am going to take a wire, connect to pin 1.0, right, and take the other end of the wire to the breadboard. Right. Now we know uh, for to turn on the LED, we need uh, positive towards anode, negative towards cathode. So uh, the other uh, end, second wire that we are going to connect will be from positive. So in the introduction video, we saw that there is a positive terminal in the board. So the plus marked row, that is the row of pins which are marked as plus here, we can take any one of the pins and connect it to the other one more terminal inside the breadboard. So now uh, the positive part of the connection will go to anode. So in the diode, we know the longer side is anode, shorter side is cathode. So longer side connect to the positive uh, terminal, shorter side cathode connect to the pin terminal. Okay, so anode goes to plus, cathode goes to pin. So when the pin becomes low, LED turns on. When the pin becomes high, LED turns off. All right, this is the basic connection for a simple blink experiment. Hmm. Okay. So this is the code we have written in our Keel 8051. Right? So this you are already aware of writing assembly code. So create a project, create your assembly code here. Okay, and uh, right click on the target, click on options. It will uh, show you this uh, window, click on output. Uh, enable this create hex file option will be there. Just enable this and click on OK. Right. Then go to your code, right click and build target. Once you build the target, in the bottom window you will be able to see that creating hex file, this line should come that you are creating your hex file from 85th whatever project name you have given. Right. This line will come that means your hex file has been generated. Fine, so now where whichever folder you have created hex file in. So if you are not sure, you can find out the folder for hex file from option for target one. Click on output, select folder for objects. Click here, you will find out what folder your hex file has been stored in. So for example, our hex file is stored in this 8051 ISP folder. So in that folder, our hex file will be located. We will be requiring this hex file to load the program into our uh, microcontroller Aribata board. Okay. So once your hex file is generated, we have the hex file ready. Next thing is to load the program. Now to load the program into the 8051 hardware board, we are going to use a separate uh, board program for that, which is called as program ISP. Okay, this is a free programmer available. And if you are going to buy a Haribata board yourself and try to do it, you have to install the drivers for it. So that is also available online. You have to install this Windows driver first. And then you have to uh, go to this ISP programmer, launch the ISP, in the lab it will be already, already installed. So launch the program ISP programmer. Okay, it will open a window like this. And if the board is connected, you can see it this in green color. You can see this is green here. If the board now, if I remove the board connection, I'll just remove the board connection now. You can see it became gray because now I have removed the board connection. I'll connect the board again to the desktop it will become green. Okay, so that basically shows the connection is available or not. And this is the uh, IC number 8089 S52. You can look at the board on which you are programming and see the IC number and select the correct IC number from the list available. So we have using 1880 S52. So we have chosen that. Once you have chosen that, uh, you, can, you can leave all these ticked. No, no need to change any of them. All we have to do is select our X file and load it into the program. So for that, on the right side, you can see a menu load flash. Uh, click on load flash. From load flash, go to the folder where X file is generated. For example, uh, my X file name was mc8051.x. So that is the X file I am going to select. Click on open. Okay, and then click on this auto folder, auto auto button. Once you click on the auto button, on the you will see below that it is getting programmed. The green color bar you will see that it is getting programmed. So once it gets programmed, it will show that uh, you can see that uh, this line it is blank. Right flash verify successfully done. If this comes, that means the program is successfully loaded into your uh, microcontroller. So how, how did we connect the controller to our uh, 8051 by using a programming cable? Okay, so this. Okay. 
So this is the programming cable we are going to use to connect to the board. So the USB part goes into our desktop or laptop, whatever you are connecting to USB terminal. The other end you can see is the uh, thicker USB terminal that will go into our uh, Aribata board. You can see here. If you have done Arduino programming, same kind of cable. Right? So once you have done this, now we just loaded the code from our uh, desktop into this by using the uh, programmer. And you can see that blink program, uh, the LED is blinking at a delay of one second. So whatever program you load, depending on that, the output we can see by loading the program from desktop to your 851 kit. So the similarly, you can connect, uh, for example, second, third experiments are making multiple LEDs blink. So instead of one LED, you can connect multiple LEDs by using different pins, pin 1.0, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. You can connect multiple pins and con configure the program to blink the LEDs in whichever pattern you want. Okay, that's the basic requirement.